Okay, um, we're going to do a little crabbing experiment. I've uh, got several traps. Uh, I've got actually two different designs of crab traps. Uh, the first one we're going to look, look at is the traditional crab trap with the, uh, um, the funnel entrance. And on these, the crab will crawl in through this funnel right here. And once he gets inside, it's difficult for him to get back out. These are the traditional traps used to catch blue claws on the Gulf Coast. And then um, I purchased uh, these traps all at a uh, crab supply house, fishing supply house in West Bago, Louisiana. Now, the homemade traps, instead of using the funnel, I'm using a, a door. And on this case, the crab pushes the door in. It's got a little weight on it. Once they get inside, the door closes back and you can't push it forward. Uh, what I'm going to do is I've got three traps of each design. It gives me the six, the maximum number of crab traps that are allowed uh, for a recreational crabber in, in Texas. And I'm going to put them out. I'm um, going to run this experiment probably about five, six weeks. And I'm going to see which trap catches the most. I would think since uh, the tradition is to use the funnels in this area, the funnels should catch more. But again, maybe the tradition is simply because that's what people have always done and not which is better. So we'll see. Uh, I'm going to go put these traps out. It's the uh, middle of March uh, 2013 and we'll give it a try and see how it goes. I've got two traps in. I've put one uh, door, one funnel. And now we're going to go down, put another door. Um, Traditional. Okay, we're going to check our traps to see which ones do better, the door traps or the funnel traps. Uh, it's the first time I've run traps out of this boat, so this may be a comedy of error. Let's see how we do. Two, three, four, five. I only see five of them. And there's probably the sixth one a little further down. Okay, push trap. And nothing. Got one big crab, nothing to keep. And I didn't even look 
see what it is with the door. I believe that was a door trap. We'll check on the next one and we'll be able to know. It had one baby crab in there. We just tossed it back. I didn't even rebait it. I guess I should have rebaited it. Okay, and uh, yeah, that first one was definitely a door trap. So zero for the doors, and the funnels are already winning with two. Okay, that's two for the funnels, and none for the doors. Don't seem to be working. Got a baby crab in there. So this may be a very short experiment. trap. boat cleaning to do when I get home. Baby trap crab. I guess the, the baby is could probably fit through. They're going in the door. Okay, final trap. So far, the score is three to nothing. So. We got four 
crabs, all in the traditional traps. Okay, no culling needed. Grab me a fish out of there. As you can see. The, uh, I guess you can see them. We got four decent sized crabs, but just four. So we'll go ahead and head back to port and try the experiment again. Another day. Okay, we're going to run our traps one more time with the uh, uh, with the doors versus the funnels. Um, if the, the doors don't catch anything today, then uh, they're fired. So we'll see what we can do. Uh, a little windy today. First trap is a door. She's empty. I'll go ahead and leave this one in and rebate it. I brought another trap to replace this one with, but uh, we're going to probably do the last door one just a replacement. So, throw that back in, rebate it, run to the next trap. Trap is funnel trap. And looks like we've just got one crab, but one is better than none. So no power to keep from going to shore. Again, nothing. Four crabs in this trap. That's not bad. Okay. And 
looks like my last trap has moved across the bay, across the canal. I mean, someone helped it because it couldn't have moved by itself. Now, if this trap right here doesn't produce anything, we're going to replace it with this trap this right here. Sucker's got half a dozen crabs in it. She's coming ashore. And I'm going to replace the... Ooh. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. Got one crab in my door traps. So, they can at least catch one. But I'm afraid that uh, doesn't quite win the, the odds tournament. Saturday, that baby's going to be outfitted with a, a brand new funnel. kind of prove my, my experiment um, uh, appears to be a lot more successful using funnels than doors Take a look. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's like ten crabs. So that's not bad. That means nine with the uh, funnels and one with the uh, the doors. Yeah, I think we can say safe bet, even only only two trips that the reason people use the funnels is because the funnels work better to capture crabs. So, uh, from Galveston County, this is Craig Foss. Uh, see y'all.